Hi, I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters and I'm a soul sculptor. I help you break the mold of past trauma and heartache. Oh boy, you know, this emotional unavailability thing is so easy to see in other people. We attract people to us and we can easily recognize it in them. I know, because I did it too. So people that are addicts, alcoholics, codependent, but not just not just that group and, and I've been, you know, codependent. I had all kinds of addictions. Um, but the, the truth is is that when we've been hurt and it, it could have been so far back in our childhood, you know, we see ourselves as little children, you know, wanting to please our parents. And all it might have taken is, is a harsh word from a mom or a dad that just shut our heart down and, and, and taught us that it was unsafe to be loved. So when it feels unsafe to be loved, then we tend to protect our heart and we shut it down. And then if something else happened, perhaps we were in a relationship that was abusive or where someone was harsh or, or cheated on us, then we, we shut our heart down again, closing it even further. And so what starts to happen is that we end up in relationships which are, are not really deep. We think they are, but they're more superficial. And, and the way that we get beyond a superficial relationship is to heal ourselves. We have to come to a place of loving acceptance of us and, and recognize that those relationships that we attracted were only to show us what we have inside of us. And I know because I, it was so much easier to see it in other people than to recognize it in myself. And it, I remember it was a cat, believe it or not. I got this cat when I was deeply wounded and I had her for about 14 years. And you know, I had this relationship with my other younger animals that was much more profound. But with this particular one, I kept pushing her away, kept, she'd jump in my lap and I'd push her away. It was never a convenient time. And then all of a sudden I went, oh my goodness, she's showing me how I'm pushing love away. She's showing me how I have had such deep wounding that I can't bond. And so when we start to see that the issue is within us, then we can do something about it. But if you're attracting someone who's emotionally unavailable, it's because you are also. We attract what we are. Like attracts like, birds of a feather flock together. It's the way we were created because it's so hard for us to see what it is we have within us. It's so hard for us to see those weaknesses. It's so hard for us to see that broken heart. But it's okay because there is hope and there is a way to heal the heart. There is a way to get beyond this place. And the first step is loving acceptance of the past, forgiveness of everyone who's ever hurt us, but starting with us. And this is something that I, I've, I've talked about a lot. Forgiveness is the greatest gift that we can give to ourselves. It helps us heal us, and it also softens our hearts. So when we're holding hatred or anger or resentment towards anyone in the past, we're not going to be able to attract someone who's going to be loving to us and totally accepting because part of our heart is, is back in the past. It's living in the past. It's reliving all those hurts. So we've got to let that stuff go to be able to attract someone 
where we can totally fall back and trust. And, and that starts with us. So we have to learn to trust ourselves. We have to learn to listen to our gut, our guidance, our heart, and this mind and heart have to be harmonized. So here we are in February, we're coming up to Valentine's Day, so I thought this would be a really good time to do a series about the heart, about loving, about healing the past so that we can move on and attract that love that each of us so desires and deserves. I hope this helps. So the first thing is forgive you. And I've got other videos about forgiveness. You can go to YouTube, Jennifer Elizabeth Masters on YouTube and check out my videos on forgiveness. They will help you tremendously. So love yourself, forgive yourself for attracting people that are emotionally unavailable and know the first step is forgiving yourself and others and then turn that love on. Love you fearlessly. Thanks for watching. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I'll see you next time.